My neighbors are gonna hate me for this. What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Opening up the video right here in front of the water because why not? You know, it's so nice outside. It's been pretty cold lately, so this is actually very nice. So today I'm actually, I just spit on the camera. I'm actually making a video that you guys have been asking for for a while now. You guys have been just tearing me up on it. You guys are like, Noah, make a truck tour. Noah, boat tour. Noah, truck tour. Noah, boat tour. So today we're actually going to do a truck tour. All on all truck tour. I'm going to show you guys what I've done to my truck. So I'm going to give you the whole tour inside out. Whole deal. I'm going to show you guys what specifically I've done to the truck. What specifically the sponsors have gave me or helped me with the truck and just show you guys all about it. So let's go ahead and hop in to the video. Before we even hop into that, I just like to say, I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you guys are striving to be the best that you can be every single day. And I hope you guys are just doing well and uh, grinding every single day. If you guys want to check out my clothing line, be sure to click the link below in the description. I got the grind shirts. I would love so much for you guys to be repping those grind shirts and showing me that you guys are working as hard as you can every single day and be the best that you could be. But let's stop talking about that. Let's go out to my truck. Here is the truck, guys. You guys have been asking so much about it, about me doing a tour, about me showing you everything I've done to the truck. And now today is that day. Let's go ahead and get it started. Mama don't need your shit. I don't need no look, just a whole lot of loving. Yeah. Look how dirty this thing is. I, I know, guys, it's super dirty. I probably should have washed this before I did the tour. But you guys have been asking about it so much, and I don't want to have you guys wait any longer for this video. I just want to get it out to you guys because this is what you guys have been wanting for so long and it's been so bad since I haven't posted it and made a video over it. So today is the day I am going to make this. Before I even start this off, I would like to say I have the best sponsors ever, especially my truck sponsors that were able to make this thing the beast that it is and help me out with everything, especially my title sponsor, John. He helps me out so much with me and my business and I, am, I can't be more thankful for all these people like I have four ARE truck vaults. Also got Ridges, all South Sprinkler Company, my title sponsor. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much for decking this bad boy out and just making it absolutely amazing. Also, big shout out to ZD Cows who actually designed and made the wrap and uh, all these guys right here that support me and my journey. We are going to start inside the truck. Uh, I'm going to apologize. It's not the cleanest it could be, but uh, it's going to be perfect for this video. So, tell I got me, got me a little... 13 fishing concept A right here on the side. I don't know why I'm showing that. So, uh, as you guys can tell, I got the third seat right here in the middle, which lifts up. Got all the compartments. Got an armrest right here. It's also an armrest. So, if I do, I, I most specifically won't have too many people in my car most times. But if I do, I can always lift that seat up to fit an extra person in here. Some of the stuff that I've done to my truck, as you can tell, I got an S pod up there. See that? That's an S pod. I got all the different switches on there. Those are actually all for my light bars. Those are all the switches. You got the rear lights. I got the uh, B inch. I got the grill light bar. This one is the bumper light bar. This is road kill lights, which are the green lights. And these are my fog lights. Moving on from that, I actually just got this installed. This is actually checks my tire pressure. So it's uh, checking the tire pressure and the temperature while I drive. And yes, it's beeping right now. It's on a different mode. So please ignore that. Um, but when I'm traveling to different states and when I'm on these long travel drives, this, I, this actually monitors you know, my tire pressure and also the temperature so I can watch this as I'm driving so I won't ever have to deal with an issue. Like if my tire is going flat or if it's overheating, then I can, it's, it's gonna notify me and I can watch this as I'm traveling. I cannot tell you how many times I've popped a tire on a trip. This is seriously gonna help me like every single time I'm traveling and every single time I'm really towing the boat and it's just a better way of being safe and I actually just got that put on a few weeks ago, very pumped about that. Also down here, I have airbags on my truck. If you guys are wondering, Noah, why do you have airbags on your truck? And these are actually things that I've got for my truck. These are not from sponsors. So the reason I got the airbags is because I do have a truck vault in the back of my truck, which I will show you here very soon. I also have an ARE cap with uh, rod pods, just all the weight on the back of my truck. And when I'm towing my boat, my truck would squat a little bit if I did not have those airbags. Those airbags are gonna compress the back of my truck up and uh, not have it where it's sagging. It's, not, it's gonna be leveled out. Yeah, I think that's about it for the front of the truck. Moving on to the back of the truck. This is probably something that you guys are wondering. Uh, ignore this right here. So right here, I got subs. I got 210 Rockford Fosgates 
and they're powers. They're the powers. Rockford Fosgates, I know you guys are probably in the speakers and the subs. Rockford Fosgates are um, a speaker brand. I have two tins. Subwoofers. Uh, Rockford Fosgates are actually the powers. They make powers, the punches. I can't think of the name, but the ones I have are the powers. Um, awesome speakers. I got my amps under here. Got an amp right there. Also an amp on under the other seat. Both by Rockford Fosgates. And uh, the subs sound absolutely amazing. I would show you guys on camera, but it's, it's kind of weird. When you show bass on camera, it tends to like cut out and it tends to not really work. It cuts out the audio. And I have no idea why, but it just muffles it up so much that you guys won't even be able to hear the bass and it would just sound very crappy so I would show you guys that but that's my box right under there that was actually a box I just purchased off or didn't just purchase I've had this for a few years um, but I actually just got that thing I believe it was off of eBay or Amazon it was just a pre-made box that fits under this 2014 Tundra and that is one thing I should have said this is a 2014 Tundra and I currently have seven oh my god 70,000 miles I have 70,000 and one miles on this thing moving on to the back because i know you guys really want to know what's back in here i got my con cooler right there under armor rain suit and this bad boy right here which is a truck vault as you can tell i have the whole inside line inside of my truck line x um, to match the truck vault and it's going to be perfect when i'm ready to sell this truck i can just take the truck vault out and the inside will be perfectly as good as new just because the line x is going to keep it keep it all good on this side of the truck vault i usually keep you know cleaner rags i'll keep some hats uh, i got a pillow i don't know why i got a uh, jumper cables um extra computer charger gopro mounts kicking hats to give out the fans little jack got some tools got a toolbox back in there just all um on the road type stuff that i will need um possibly when i'm traveling or just if anything goes wrong on this side of the truck vault this is where i'm going to have you know extra pair of shoes as you can tell i got a lot of baits up in here um all different kinds of baits sweatshirts uh hard baits got some z baits right here um seaguar line i got a little, i got five um 1000 yard spools right there also some more braid got some more packs got tons of rage crawls shoes and this kind of just like the tackle area of my truck this is actually very convenient you know like when i'm traveling to these college events i will stack this truck up with a bunch of baits i'll also throw you know some more bait boxes back in the back of the truck um depending on where i'm going and say i don't know the water don't know what i'm fishing don't know what kind of baits i'm going to end up throwing it's just perfect to the you know throw stuff in the back of the truck especially in the truck vault have it organized and have it ready for your tournament since we got that inside done we're going to be talking about the outside so let's start from the front right over here so for my bumpers and rear bumper by Fab4, this is actually the most lightweight bumper that they have. And this is the one that they ended up sending me. Big shout out to Fab4 for sending me that. It's been, a, I would say, like a little over probably a year and a half since I've got that um, bumper by them. And this actually doesn't add too much weight onto the truck. And um, very, very sick bumpers. Like I said, pretty dirty right now, but very high quality bumpers by um fab four and um also the rigid lights four inches right here in the back so if somebody's tailing me there you go i can flip those on and i can i can blind them but also um it's great for backing up going up here got the curved 54 inch got a fab four roof rack the little pods by rigid also have my rod tubes by are with the are truck cap which is absolutely amazing. That is probably my favorite attachment onto the truck just because I can load so much stuff back there, especially with the truck vault. I have so much room for so many different things. In the bumper, I actually have two fog lights on each side by Rigid Industries. And um, right here, we got a, I believe it's a 30 inch um, light bar here in the bumper. And I got another one right here in the grill with two pods on the side. Like I said, big shout out to these companies, Rigid, Fab4, ARE, Truck Vault. I love you guys so much. And thank you so much for helping me deck this truck out and just turn it into the beast that it is today. And uh, I just love the truck so much. You know, I've had it around two years now and I've never had any problems with it. It's been great, been traveling in it. Yes, the gas mileage is horrible, guys. I know you guys are asking me about that, wondering about that. And I have to say that my gas mileage is probably around eight miles to the gallon without a boat. With the boat is probably about six yeah so i was actually looking at diesels here uh in the past couple of months and 
I don't know. I just don't know if I want to drop that much money on a truck yet. It's, it's, it's kind of a weird decision because I am looking into buying a little car as well. Something I can travel around here and not be like using my pretty much work, quote unquote, work truck to be driving around and putting all these useless miles on it. Moving on to the stuff that I actually bought with my own money to put onto the truck rather than sponsors, which is tires, wheels, and lift. And I also have a secret under here that I will show you very, very soon. So these are actually 37s. Um, these are trail gravelers, 37s by 1350s and these are some big boys guys i mean big tires uh very expensive to replace like these i need to go get um two more because as you can tell my tread is running low on it and uh the rims 20 inch rock stars these are negative 44 offset so as you can tell so yeah it's very fat you got that offset offset right there i would love to have some fuels on here but to be honest with you like i looked at a bunch of different wheels a lot of you guys are gonna hate on rock stars all right but i i tried out a bunch of different wheels on my truck and these actually look the best and uh i put these on before i actually had the wrap so it was when my truck was white and these looked way better um it would look a lot better with some black rims right now with it with me having the wrap but i just don't want to spend more money on this bad boy especially with how much money i've already spent on it if you guys are wondering about the lift this is six inch rough country as you can tell right there so six inch this guy is up there guys i mean with these 37s and the six inch to be honest i could have 35s i did previously have 35s and i wanted to get a different offset um to make the truck a little bit fatter probably one of the worst mistakes i've ever done and i knew it was going to cost me a lot with you know gas money and of course having to sell that but i, I previously when i first got the truck it had 33s um it had some chrome fuels on there and then I had the same rock stars with 35s, and then I moved to 37s with these rock stars. And probably won't ever do that again. I'm never gonna go bigger than 37. With this truck being up there, I actually do not have side steps that has actually all taken off. I did have some five, Fab Four side steps, but I actually took those off. If you guys are wondering about the exhaust and muffler, um, I got a Black Widow exhaust to the Borla Dual. Borla came on the truck when I actually got it, and I ended up getting the Black Widow exhaust, which is actually an amazing exhaust if you wanna go check it out. It sounds really good. Here, I can actually crank up the truck for you. Note that like when it's loud like this, it's probably not gonna sound the best. Um, it's probably going to sound, like I said, like with bass, something about the camera, it always crackles it up, but uh, here, let's crank it up. Let's see if you can hear anything. I don't know how the camera audio is gonna be. Here, let's get that from the back. As you can tell, not very obnoxious. You know, it's, it's more of like a sports car sound. It's more of that like growl. It's nothing like super obnoxious, um, like a big diesel or anything. I didn't want anything super, super, super loud anyway, so this is actually perfect. If you guys are looking for an exhaust, it's not like super, you know, just crazy, uh, just not super loud. And um, something that's still, is still gonna be loud, it's gonna have a great sound, that uh, Black Widow is awesome. Now moving on to the one thing I wanted to show you guys at the end. <sighs> My neighbors are gonna hate me for this. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get it. Yeah, so, uh, let me turn this off. That was loud. My neighbors are gonna hate me so much. Probably gonna end up getting kicked out of this place. So yeah, I actually got a train horn installed um, by Horn Blasters. And it's got four horns down in there with the compressor. I'll show you guys that. I don't, I don't understand if you guys can know, like if you guys can tell how loud that is on camera, but I'm telling you guys, that train horn is the loudest train horn you can buy and it is ridiculously loud. There it is right there. If you guys can see the, the four horns right there, compressor by Horn Blasters. As you can tell, they made like a whole platform to put all this on. And this is actually where my spare tire would be. There is no way I could actually fit a spare tire up under there anyway. So this actually works out perfect to put that right there. And uh, if you guys are wondering, that is my airbags right there that I was talking about earlier up um, onto the video. If you guys have a big truck, I do suggest you to get a train horn, to be honest with you. I think it deserves a train horn. I don't think you need no little horn. I actually bought my dad a train horn for Father's Day last year and he uses it more than me. I don't use a train horn unless I have to. If somebody's swerving over into me into a lane, I'm definitely gonna honk at you, man. It's just gonna happen. Um, but yeah, that's that's just a must have for a big truck in my opinion. But overall guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You guys have been wanting this for so long and I decided to finally sit down, say, man, what do these kids want? 
ooh, a truck tour and make this video for you guys. But overall, I love you guys so much. I hope you guys are grinding every single day to be the best that you can be. I hope everything's going good. You guys are just killing it every single day at every aspect in life and just being the best. And just, we need to take over the world, guys. We need to keep striving to be the best. And let's just take over. But overall, guys, I love you guys so much. Please drop a big like on this video if you want to see a boat tour next. Just let me know. Drop a big like and leave a comment below. And also subscribe if you guys haven't already. And hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. But I love you guys so much. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. There's actually like four cops that live around me. If you guys are watching this, I'm so sorry. I had to do it for the video. <laughs> Two of them just walked outside. That train horn is so loud.